Welcome back, everybody. This is one of those stores that you can find just about everything Halloween, so this is going to be a long video. Before we go in, I did want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out a link to my Patreon page in the description below. With that said, let's go ahead and head on in. The first thing we're going to see is a selection of their inflatables hiding up there on the top of the shelf. Interesting, they've got some stranger things, but they managed to make a really scary creature into something kind of cutesy, which is unfortunately a theme with a lot of these inflatables. I don't know what these guys are or what they represent, but they are falling into that trap that I've always complained about with inflatables, that they're mostly too cute. Inflatables are a little scared to go the scary route. This guy is perhaps a little bit of an exception. I do like his head turning, and he turns from that happy bear into that creepy one with the scary teeth. We're going to take a closer look at him, or another look at him, I should say, at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that if you want to take another look. But let's go ahead and take a gander down the merchandise aisles. It is kind of a hodgepodge of merchandise, so I didn't actually edit this in any particular order. There's going to be just a a mix of merchandise and clothing and more merchandise and candy and more merchandise throughout the whole video. Okay, at least we're getting the noisemakers out of the way. Well, I spoke too soon. The roof! The roof! The roof is on fire! <laughs> also can't tell if somebody painted this guy here or is supposed to be blue. I'm guessing it's more of the former and Walmart just kept it out on the shelf, even though it's obviously vandalized. Right, little, I don't understand the little things as well, the very um, not life-size props. I don't know how people use those in their displays. I, of course, like to make my things as full-size as possible, and if it is not, that kind of bothers me. But to each his own, I guess. We do have some oversized things, like those eyeballs. Strangely enough, that does not bother me. I kind of like that. It looks like a deer with antlers, maybe. Um... I could see myself putting that over my fireplace. We've got a crazy looking, what is this, a teddy bear over here? <laughs> of course they had to use that standard come play with me line that just completely ruins the prop. I've complained about it before. I think it is grossly overused. Come play with me is not even scary anymore. All right, I do like these lanterns with the claws. I bought a version of these with skeleton hands, I believe. Several years ago, I used them as uh, lanterns on top of my cemetery posts, although I think this year, actually, I have them on my buffet in my dining room. This year, I am displaying my skeleton pirates once again inside my house. I guess that's for the first time. Look at those gnomes. I actually like those gnomes. I complain about gnomes in a lot of our video walkthroughs. Because usually they're kind of cutesy and kind of dumb, but I like the uh, sort of devil look that these had. That's a nice surprise. Okay, it's kind of hard to see what a lot of this merchandise is without pulling it all out individually. It's a hodgepodge of stuff. Thankfully the boxes have labels, so I wouldn't even have any idea what they are. We've got some creepy gauze for three sixty-seven. I uh, guess that's a play on the creepy cloth that we can get at the Dollar Tree for a lot less. I never understand these stores that sell it for so much more. Taking advantage of those that don't know any better like me, they, those are the sort of people that need to be watching my walkthrough videos to get the pricing on all of this merchandise before you actually go out and buy it. 
I am doing the world a public good. Okay, what else have we got here? Some light up things. The skeleton hands are kind of cool. The skull pathway, I, I don't like any of the pathway lighting, to be honest. They are, are just too small, in my opinion. Not only undersized, but you can only link, what, like three of them together. It doesn't go very far. I guess that's fine if you have a very small sidewalk or something to decorate. But if you're going to spend that money, just make a DIY prop that's going to give you a lot more presence for the amount of money that you're going to spend for that. All right, we've got some hanging decor creatures and whatnot. I'm not really taking too close of a look, sorry. We've got some tombstones down here. We will see those again on an end cap here in a moment. I do like the groundbreakers. I bought a few of these um, in the past for my cemeteries. It's just a nice way to sort of beef up your cheap looking tombstones. Here, here we have some light up eyes, creepy to put in the bushes. And of course, more inflatables. I will hand it to Walmart. They have a giant selection here, so there is a lot to choose from. Vast majority of it, of course, cutesy. I like that zombie, even though he is cutesy. He's cute. In my opinion, I like him. Nice little inexpensive spider there. They do have a number of spider inflatables. I think that's a great way to Make a nice collection in the yard. If I am going to have an inflatable display, I do like them all to be sort of cohesive. And I will make different displays each year, as long as there's a collection of the inflatables to make a story. Looks like we've got a crazy bear there, and I think we saw a rabbit that was similar earlier. I have to wonder if that is due to the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't actually played it or seen the movies. I've only seen the trailers, of course. And it kind of reminds me of those characters. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's about these crazy animatronics that come to life and possess children or something. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen it. It looks kind of campy and fun, though. And I love that little inflatable with that little car. I always wanted one of those when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I think as we're getting toward the lower shelves, they are getting a little bit creepier in nature. Of course, we do have some Disney. We've got the Sanderson sisters there, all three of them. So if you can make a collection, that's nice. There's that creepy bear. We've got some ghosts and some taller inflatables, an archway even. And I like this little boo that is a uh, air, hot air balloon look and a car. So I'm actually trying to beef up my own inflatable car collection. Well, I say collection, but I only have one, the Ghostbusters inflatable, if you've seen my walkthrough videos. It's made a couple of appearances over the years. And this year, if you know my yard, I have a parking pad at the street where I plan to park my cars this year instead of doing some sort of elaborate display on it. And uh, I think I'm going to sandwich all the cars with some inflatable cars. I have my Ecto-1 mobile. I'm kind of eyeing that hearse from Spirit. I got a coupon in the mail. So I think I might have to take another trip out there here pretty soon. Anyway, we've got some squishy, what are these called? Squish, squash mellows, squish mellows. Wow, did that say $36? That seems a little bit pricey. 88 is on the high end for a skeleton too, but those were seven foot skeletons, which I saw in Lowe's as well. I don't know if they were in some other stores, but I wonder if... The seven-foot skeleton is the new five-foot skeleton that we've had for so many years. Make it a little bit of fall merchandise over here. Can't go wrong with that. Here are those tombstones we referenced earlier. You do get a number of different ones for your $16, $17. A couple of different pillow options. It looks like it's mostly fall, but there's some interesting ones in there. A little ghost and, of course, a gnome. I do love door covers. I have used these a number of times and put them in picture frames instead of on a door. They have got great artwork a lot of the times. I like that ghost holding the skeleton there at the bottom. I also like this eyeball. I guess it's a candy bowl. I like how dark it looks. You can almost not even tell that there is a bowl inside of there. All right. What else have we got going on here? A lot of little tchotchkes, a little stuffed animal things. 
Not sure if these are meant for kids or dogs. Who knows? Like I said, Walmart just kind of stuffs everything everywhere. Look, there's a, a light up um, projection effect amongst the spooky bear decor and pumpkin pails. And there is a spider. Just you never know what you're going to find. You really have to check out all the shelves. So $16 for that seems a bit on the pricey side. I know we've seen those sort of light up painting looking pictures in several locations, particularly Big Lots. I know I've had it for many years and I can't imagine it was much more expensive than that for a larger size one. Up next, we've got some string lights. The, let's see, 50 twinkle lights for five something. That's not too bad, I guess. We've got these projection effects you'll float to and whatnot. I will not buy those anymore. They just don't project enough. They are not bright enough. If it's not really dark, you can't see it. I really like the song that those ghosts sing. Of course, I don't want to keep playing it here, but uh, I'm sure we've heard it in a lot of other videos before. They seem to recycle the soundtracks for these props over and over and over. All right, don't ever buy these bulbs, like especially like the purple light bulbs that they kind of pass off as like a black light. You're not going to get the black light effect with them. It's just a dim light and that bulb gets super hot. So you really want to be careful with those things. More projection effects. These ones that shine up on the side of the house, I think are probably a bit more powerful, but I've not had any luck with any of them. So I really don't want to buy any more to test. Right. If you need some costumes, they've got you covered over here. Lots of um, accessories, I guess they are. We're going to see a lot more of those here in a minute. Pumpkin carving kits. I absolutely hate carving pumpkins anymore. It, to me, it's just so incredibly tedious. I just don't do it. I am perfectly fine with the plastic pumpkins. I like these options that you have down here where you can just decorate your pumpkin. Keep it quick, keep it easy, but I don't even buy pumpkins anymore. I just take my plastic pumpkins, I turn them into my pumpkin army, and then there is no need for a separate pumpkin just sitting on my porch because they are standing sentinel all around my house anyway. All right, we've got some candle things over here. We're going to have a lot of scented candles coming up too. Some bleeding candles and candlesticks. My candlestick looks a little bit lame though. You can certainly find creepy candlesticks at the Goodwill or similarly at the thrift store. Just give it a good spray paint, and there you go. All right. I think this aisle is starting to look a little bit more designy. I know I've seen that sort of skeleton lamp, I guess it was, um, in more high-end stores before. But I say high-end, but I'm not like TJ Maxx. And then this stuff kind of reminds me of the Target look. So I think that Walmart is getting their inspiration cues from some other stores. But I guess whatever works, right? We did just see a sign that said out of candy. I would never display that. First of all, don't run out of candy. Buy plenty of candy. You can always enjoy it year-round. If you do run out of candy and a kid comes to your door, you deserve to get egged. All right. My soapbox I'm stepping off of. So we've got some silhouettes there. I actually liked that one um, that looked like the shadow against the window. I put a similar one in my upstairs window every year, but it's like a big plastic sheet. I would love a stick-on silhouette, but that one is a little small. I also love these toilet covers. I have a couple of different versions of these. I think they're super creepy and look very realistic on top of your toilet, um, especially in a party setting. I think that is a great way to decorate your bathroom. All right, here we've got some, looks like infant toddler costumes. We're not gonna take a real close look at the costumes. I'm more about the decor. And we've got some young girl costumes here on the other side. We're going to take another look back at some fall merchandise. But like I said, we're just kind of all over the place in this video. And here is some more Halloween merchandise. All right. Actually, we've got some baking implements or candy bags and cooking whatnots. I really wish I had more time to make Halloween goodies. I usually get so busy with my decorating that I neglect that. I remember... 
few years though, I made some really cool cupcakes and I love getting the sort of fun toppers that you can get at these sort of stores. But honestly, most of it came from Target. All right, a lot of different cup options here, only 98 cents. So heck, you know, if you're gonna buy some plastic cups for your party, you might as well just spend a few bucks, unless you have a lot of friends. I wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> I have a couple of friends. Okay, I'm lying, I have no friends. So I, don't, I guess I don't really need any cups after all. But if I did, I'd get them here and have some neat ones. All right, we've got some other uh, pails and trays things. I actually have bought some of these trays for my Halloween adventures. Looks like we've got a couple of different options if you want to go the paper route as well. I guess they're certainly a lot more fun than just the plain white ones that you can get at the grocery store. But I would want them to all match or at least be thematic. So it's kind of hard. It looks like such a hodgepodge over here. We also have some games. There's like a ring toss and an inflatable bowling game for only five bucks. So if you are having a party with little kids, it's a great way to keep them entertained. Again, I tend to get a lot of that sort of thing from Target, but you can always add to your collection year after year because you can never have enough games for people to play. Oh, next to the children's games, of course, you have your drink flask. Why not? Oh, and here are the cupcake toppers with all the fun things you can put on them. Um, eyeballs. I'm particularly fond of those little knives, little bloody knives. I have those sticking out of the tops of my cupcakes. And use some red gel to make it look like the cupcake is bleeding all around. Really like that. I've also seen some Pinterests where people try to make like broken glass looking tops on their cupcakes. I'd like to try that one year. But again, who knows? I probably won't get to any of it this year. Uh, but if you do, send me some pictures. I need some inspiration. And by pictures, I really mean send me some cupcakes. I would like to eat them. All right, we've got some more hodgepodgey things over here. And I guess some cookie and gingerbread kits that you can put together. I actually did one of those zombie gingerbread men kits uh, several years ago. I can't decorate for anything and it ended up, they all just looked awful. You need to have some skill to do that, or at least some patience, of which I have none. All right, we've got some more baking implements. I really like that sort of clear plastic heat, not clear, but smoky plastic cake stand thing. All right, but let's move on. We've got costumes and costume pieces galore, and a whole lot of adult things, unfortunately, but I guess if you're gonna be an adult and want to go to a Halloween party, you should probably go to one of those bigger costume shops like Party City. I'm going to be doing a video walkthrough on them pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But if you've got a little one and need a cheap costume, lots of options for you here. If you want an expensive card, really love that pop-up haunted house there. They do have a lot of neat pop-up options, different card options for you to select from as well. Love these little haunted house ones that Oh, look, he's got a skeleton in a doorway that kind of twists around. Pretty cool. Got some shopping bags as well. If you want to give somebody a Halloween gift, if you want to send me a Halloween gift, let me know. I'll give you my address. All right, we've got glow sticks galore. That used to be my favorite thing about going to school on Halloween and having that little Halloween party. They always gave us glow sticks. And, of course, I'd want them to last forever, and they usually barely lasted till the morning and then I was always disappointed. More costume options for the older kids. And then of course some candy giant aisle full of everything you could possibly want. Oh my gosh, leaf bags really bring me back to I always loved the idea of filling them. Loved the way they look in the yard. Never loved actually filling them though. We had some shirts there, some Claire's accessories earrings and necklaces and things, some spooky masks as well. And actually there's quite the selection here. A couple of, uh, ooh, I like that nun one. I was going to say a couple of clowns. You know, I'm doing clowns this year as well. I was thinking of putting a few of these to work in my display. I might have to come back. I probably won't though. I've actually bought a lot of animatronics that I need to share with you. So I'll be doing some unboxing reviews of those pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. If you want some 
uh, spooky looking Halloween colored uh, cups and bowls. Those were pretty cheap, 25 cents, I think, and 50 cents for the bowl. That would even be cheaper than those glass ones that we were looking at earlier. You could get a tumbler if you just want one for yourself. Or, oh, look here, a decanter if you really want to get serious. I do like that one. All right, more glass options. And, uh, oh, look, we've got some drink dispensers. Love this crystal-looking skull. I actually have a big one of those that's glass that I use as a centerpiece. And I put some uh, Halloween flowers in it. But that would be a much less expensive way to do it with that. We've got some wax melts here if you want to make your house smell good, or some candles. Now, I didn't realize that those were actually candles that we were looking at there. These obviously are. They're nice and decorative. But up here on this next level, I thought these were like little uh, tchotchkes, but they were actually candles that you could light as well. Of course, here are the typical scented candles. I'm not too thrilled with the Walmart candles. I never feel like the scent lasts very long couple of different uh, blankets and then we've got some clothing lots of different clothing for lots of different people kids women men and anybody in between I guess now I will admit I buy Walmart t-shirts for Halloween every year I think they are fantastic for the price point they're usually only about seven bucks a little bit more if you want the ones that have the Disney or uh, other licensed merchandise, but I get comments asking me all the time, where did you get that shirt? Well, it's usually Walmart. They had several different horror movie shirts this year, Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street. There were a couple others I saw, didn't make it into the video, um, but check that out if you're a horror movie fan. That's going to bring us to the end of our Walmart shopping tour, but don't worry, we've got lots more shopping to do in other stores, and I can't wait to take you along for that. We also have some product reviews and DIYs coming up. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. And please give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care and happy haunting.